So, um, back over here. No. Uh, I'm, I wanted to do a video about the um, electric cars, you know? And, sorry, one sec. Everybody wants, well, not everybody, but there's a lot of people who say, hey, electric cars are great for the environment. They don't give off any fumes and blah, blah, blah. But the, there are three issues, well, two now, because I guess that, I think it's Tesla. Tesla made a uh, an electric car, a sports car. And that thing can go pretty fast. Um, so I was going to say that it doesn't usually have the torque or the power that a combustion engine has. But um, the other issue is that it really won't, you know, so you got the range anxiety no matter what, which is what they call it. Uh, basically when, you know, oh, hey, I'm about to run out of battery. It's just like having a, a you know, a smartphone, an iPhone for instance, because iPhones, if you're a heavy or even a moderate user, an iPhone usually goes out, you know, within at least three-fourths of the day. So, um, anyway, so yeah, you got the range anxiety where, you know, the battery is about to run out. You don't have a charger, you know, or I mean a port for the car. So, you know, it's kind of difficult because not everybody has adopted that kind of technology. So, you know, you can't go to any gas station, even though there are some gas stations with electric ports um, and charge up. And even if you did, it would take you like 12 hours to do it. It takes a long time to charge those batteries back up. So anyway, and the other problem is that you're still using power. So you're still using something that, unless they got the power straight from the sun, the wind, water, you know, anything that's natural and doesn't get off, give off fumes, you're still giving off fumes. It really won't matter. You know, you gotta... We're not at the point where we can do that yet. Now, I think it's great that they're trying and they've come so far. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's just kind of my thoughts on electric cars right there. And, uh, I also wanted to do something else. So one sec, you're going to see some weird things. Or maybe not. So, these are earpods, of course. Apple earpods. Anyway, I wanted to kind of do a little view, review. Um, a review? Product review? You, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, I. I have been using these for, you know, about a week and a half, a week or something like that. But I've had, I, I actually, these are the ones that I bought. I had some before, they went out on me, like all, you know, of Apple's earphones that come with their iPods and iPhones and all that stuff, usually do, they break um, within a few months. And so... I think that that does happen with their products when, you know, they they have the, uh, you know, like a product like this where it's their own headphones, but they sell it, you know, it's their ones. But uh, anyway, I had, they. there's a couple of other ones that sell that are like Apple EarPods. You know, they have the same design. But they don't have, see they, see how there's the port there, you know, the air intake there, and the then on the other side there's one? Well, 
there's two of them that cost 20 bucks. One's made by Phillips. These are the ones that I saw at Walmart. You can probably find way more somewhere. Obviously, people copy them. But uh, anyway, one is made by, I think it's Phillips, and it's an exercise one. You know, it's supposed to be sweat resistant, and it has like, you know, Kevlar, oh, sorry, Kevlar kind of wiring, uh, you know, shell around the wires. Uh, anyway, those were okay. I've had those. I also had, before I got these, these are $29, or $30, I like to say, because I think it's just ridiculous not to say 30 Anyway, so these are about 30 bucks, and they, uh, the other ones are 20 bucks that I found. Well, I also used a different one that's made by iFrogs, which... You know they're the kind of they're kind of those cheapo brands too, but but I've had they make ear pollution and ear pollution. I have a pair of over the ear headphones and they're pretty good with bass and also keeping out noise because they're so thick and padding and they've lasted a long time. But uh, the other ones that I bought that were like these, except for you know different, of course. They didn't have the air intakes there. I'm pretty sure that those, you know, so anyway, they didn't have those. And then there's kind of a mesh inside of the, I don't know if you, yeah, you can kind of see it there. There's a mesh inside of there. And uh, the other ones, the uh, iFrog ones, iFrogs ones, did not have mesh. And... I think that the mesh actually, I mean, besides just the driver, the driver is way better in these. Even though it won't say on the packaging anything about it, the driver is way better. Um, and there's pretty good bass, decent bass, you know, for headphones. Of course, if you're going to go with bass, you're not going to get just ear in-ear headphones. You know, you're always going to get some kind of studio headphones that go over the ear and everything. Anyway... Um, so I think that it's the driver coupled with the mesh that actually it, it gives it that, you know, way better base than the other ones because the other ones don't have mesh. They just are, you know, the driver and, uh, not as powerful a driver either. So, you know, these, these are pretty good, pretty decent buy for 30 bucks. You know, of course you can always get over-the-ear headphones that are 30 bucks too but these have better bass than my over-the-ear headphones that did cost 30 bucks so that's kinda weird um, I can still hear though other people and stuff like that you know other things going on around me when I have these in so they don't block any of the other extra sound really but they are pretty decent so anyway that's what I wanted to do uh, leave comment you know just leave a comment, subscribe, like the video, share, whatever you want to do. Anyway, uh, just tell me if you want to need to do any other vi videos about you know my thoughts on things. But uh, you know, is there anything you really kind of want to put out there? Well, not anything, but a lot of stuff. Anyway, TTYL. E-T-Y-L.